What's up everybody? Um, had a headlight burnout on my Buell, little H7 bulb. Um, these are just halogens. And uh, I thought, well, uh, I'm gonna give something new a try. So I got some of these, I have no idea, maybe Oxalan, Oxalan um, LEDs replacements um had pretty good reviews i they got them from amazon i'll post a link down below for you let's see if i can get this that's what they look like don't require any special harnesses or wiring or anything like that they are polarity sensitive right there and so i gotta make sure i got these on the right way, <laughs> I guess we'll find out really quick. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get the, these installed. Um, again, only one of my halogens burn out. So worst case scenario, if these end up being crap, then I guess I can return them and um, go and get myself a regular halogen. Um, it, oh, by the way, this was, I think this halogen was like, 20 something dollars for one. And this um, set of LEDs was $29 for two. And so I was thinking, well, if they're brighter, then that would be value added. If they're not brighter, then I don't care. <laughs> so whatever, let's see how they fit. It says it's supposed to be like a direct replacement right so we'll see if that's a lie um, all right trying to get this lined up so um, the orientation for any of you who might end up getting these looks like it's got two notches it looks like it can be oriented this way or this way um, and I'm not sure what difference it'll make perhaps it will make a difference I don't know but the way I'm lining it up now is to line up the way it would be from the factory this way the in this in this orientation sorry guys in this orientation with the prongs vertical like this and this notch at the top it places the led to the sides and then you can obviously orient it the other way too with the prongs horizontal as well as the bulbs or the leds which means that they'll shine ver or you know um vertically so I don't know if it's going to make a difference. I, I don't know. And, and, the fact, and the fact is that the headlamp assembly that I have, let me show you, it's got issues. Um, so when I got this bike, if you guys can go back to one of the first videos, um, it had an a, 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 a HID uh, kit in it, and I removed it. And I'm pretty sure the HIDs did this to the reflective material and, you know granted it's pretty old you know you're talking 16 years of being on um it only makes sense that eventually it's gonna do some weird stuff um so the next step um is to get the uh, one of those led assemblies it's the whole headlight assemblies led and i'll, I'll post a link down below. Um, it's on Amazon, it's on eBay. You can get it in a lot of different spots. They're all about the same price, about 200 bucks for a whole, it's a whole assembly. And um, it's pretty slick. And there's a reason I want it. Both lights are on, which that doesn't bother me. Um, but the, um, you know, like I said, it's all LED, has halos around them. And apparently the reviews are very good. Like people love the result, the light, the cast are very bright and, um, um, I guess defined beam and, um, very much modernizes the, the, uh, riding experience, at least at night on the, on the mules. Um, and I do ride at night. I don't ride a whole lot at night and the roads around here, um, especially the main roads are all lit. So it's not like a big deal if I can't, you know, if they're not like, if this kit, this setup isn't just absolutely amazing. If it's equal to this, totally okay. If it's less than this, 
I'm still not upset about it. So, all right, enough talking. Let's get on it. So again, there may be some trial and error with setting this up in terms of polarity. So we'll have to see. Um, putting bulbs into a Buell headlight assembly are very, very easy. Um, let me show you really quick. There's, so you obviously push it down into the, uh, the headlamp uh, assembly itself. And then there's these two prongs right here and you just spread them. So you see that tab, you just spread them apart and lock these two prongs underneath. So now it'll look like that once it's inserted and that is locked in. As you can see, they're back in there. Actually, let me make absolutely sure that's engaged. Yeah, fully engaged. So see if you can see that right there. So that is the way it should look. And internally, obviously pretty much the same size. That's what the difference is. This is the halogen. That's the LED over there. So let me go ahead and get this other one installed because I don't want to, you know, bolt this whole thing up. Um, only to have to pull it apart again. So I'm going to get this set up really quick and we'll come back. Uh, back again really quick, just for the sake of documentation. Um, the orientation of the plug is white wire on top prong and black wire on the bottom prong. Same on both sides. So... Um, I just connected it back the same way. Uh, the manual here doesn't really say anything about um, wire orientation, etc. It doesn't say which prong is supposed to be negative or positive. Um, it does say that if, it, if the light doesn't work, then you got to swap them around. So if that's the case, we'll do that. It does say for the H7 bulb, which is what this is, is that it is supposed to be horizontally oriented. Like, like I was putting it in there. So I guess that's good news. So I got one thing accidentally right. All right, let's, uh, let's go over to the, the bike. Okay, well you guys have seen this live action. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the headlamp assembly. Bike is still off. I'm gonna go ahead and flip on the ignition. Let's hope there's no sparks. Okay, so definitely gonna have to reverse the polarity. So let's uh, let's do that really quick. <laughs> it's either that or I got some bogus bulbs and I'll be making a quick run down to the parts store and asking for a refund on this. So, man, these wires are, whew, I may actually have to rewire this harness. This is uh, stiff, so. Let's see, I gotta think about how I'm gonna do this without putting that wire in too much of a bind. Nothing worse than work. Man, I tell you what, Hank, about that and dang old meaning of life, man. It's like this, man. You like a butterfly flapping his wings deep down in the forest, man. It's gonna cause a tree fall like 5,000 miles away, man. And ain't nobody see it, nobody don't, don't even happen. You know, the baby's born into this world, and they don't, they don't got any friends, got no, nothing but to go come in and find out all about it, no evil, man. You know, stiff wires, because they, they get brittle over time, and that's no bueno. You don't want that. All right, here we go. Trial two. That's right. Let's try the bright beam. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, yeah, these are pretty freaking slick. All right. Cool beans. Let me uh, let me get this thing all mounted up, and we'll come back after the bike's put together. I thought I'd bring you guys in really quick to uh, show you, just in case you're wondering how to mount a Buell headlamp. There's there's two um, screws right here, and there's some access ports. Uh, sorry for the vibrations right here on the side and then underneath there's just a tab um, Let me actually just show you that really quick. This is a pretty basic setup and then you just 
you know, you get the headlamp, sorry, get the headlamp adjusted where you want it, lock it in and you're done. So, um, and then this, these two do give you a little lateral movement. So if your if your beam is off one way or the other to the left or right, you can recenter it. I've never had that issue on mine. Um, typically, I just lock it forward and rock and roll that way, or maybe it's lock it back. I can't remember which way I do it. We're gonna find out. Um, I'm not gonna go through the process of getting it all aligned in this video. I'm just gonna get this put back together so I can ride my bike. Um, I do have a vehicle inspection coming up um, here next month, end of next month. So I have to have a working headlamp to be able to, to pass that inspection. So this is uh, an important thing to get fixed. Equally important was the ability to just ride my bike. I like to ride. That's a way for me to decompress though. Anyhow, so let me get this put back completely back together. We'll come back. All right, guys, we are back together. Um, this is not yet aligned. It's just kind of in there. Where I think it should go, um, I'll align it. It's easy enough to do even with the cowling or whatever you call this thing, fairing on, bikini on. So let's just uh, take a look at it on the bike and uh, see what that's like. Dang, that is... I know you guys are on a camera you're probably like, ah, it, it's, it definitely is like that in person. It's very bright. I dig it. I'm liking it. Um, I think this is going to be a good, good setup. So we'll see what, uh, riding is like. And I hope that these last a while, um, you know, hold on, give me a second. Let me do one more thing. Let me turn it back on. Hmm. Well, I kind of expected that being an LED, there's very little heat coming off of that at all. And a halogen usually heats up pretty quickly as some of you already may, you know, may know already. So, all right. Well guys, that's it. Um, not a whole lot going on uh, with the Buell other than just simple stuff like this. In the future, there will be a major overhaul of that engine. I'm at least gonna be doing a top, top end job uh, as well as the heads. So, but that's, that's a ways in the future. And I won't do that until I have a second bike. And, um, I'm in negotiations with my beloved spouse on that one. Ha <laughs> ha. So we'll see how that ends up playing out. So anyways, um, all right guys, well, thank you very much for tuning in and I uh, appreciate you stopping by to check out the old Buell and uh, maybe I should rename the channel to this old Buell or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right. In any case, all right, y'all. Uh, peace out. And keep it between the ditches.